back. Baja's on a budget. Uh, we're going to show you a little, uh, it's not really a modification, but it's, it's, it's a process that you can actually use a larger diameter fuel tubing uh, so your motor doesn't get starved of fuel and how easy it is to actually install. Okay, so we're starting with a brand new fuel tank here. It's got the stock lines coming out of it. Um, and we're, we're going to put in some oversized fuel line available at most of your hobby shops. Um, this stuff I picked up from O'Neill Brothers. They have it available in different colors. So what I'm going to do, first thing you want to do, is get the grommet out of the fuel tank, which you just pull up on one of the sides and it'll pop out. Pull everything out, set the fuel tank out of the way. These lines should pull out very easy. Okay. Now the fuel filter has a little clip on the bottom of it and what we're going to do is grab it with a pair of needle nose and then kind of spin the needle nose so that it opens it up and we can get the fuel line off of the fuel filter. Set the fuel filter down, get our clip off because we will be reusing that. Okay, On this particular uh, installation I'm going to use blue fuel line for my input to the carburetor and clear for my ah, back to the tank from the carburetor. Okay. Push your fuel line on. For this fuel line, because it's oversized, you're going to have to stretch the clamp out a little bit further. And then you get it to this point and you kind of push it on a little bit and it'll keep the clamp open to where you can get a better grab on it and actually push it over the barb. Doesn't have to go on all the way, just past the barb. All right? Now, in order to get this fuel line through this grommet, there's a couple different ways of doing it. I'm going to be using some silicone oil and I'm going to take the the fuel line and cut it at a angle so that it's a little bit sharper. Both sides or both lines. And I'm going to take the silicone oil and put a little bit on the grommet just so it's going to fall down into the hole a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit on the the end of the fuel line here. And as you can see, you just have to give it a little force to push her through. Okay, then I got a rag here. I'm going to wipe up all the excess oil so that it doesn't get mixed with my gas. Go ahead and cut that one flush. helps if you put it in the right way because I already put my fuel filter on. We want the fuel filter on the inside of the tank, not the outside of the tank. Pull this through. We'll adjust it in a minute so that it sits in the right place in the tank. Try and get as much of the silicone oil off as you can. Not that it will be enough to hurt anything, but don't want to take any chances with them high horsepower motors. Everybody's running high dollar high horsepower. All right, bringing the tank back. Probably going to need this a little bit longer. Always best to start long. You can always pull it back. Spin these. Drop this into the fuel tank. This is the part that's going to be a little more difficult than 
pulling out with the stock fuel lines, you're basically just going to push and try and get one side in. And if you don't feel it going in, just give it a rotate and it'll pop in. Get it to the position that you want. I left these a little bit long so that I can I can wrap them to the carburetor and cut them as, as needed to length. Now inside the carburetor it's going to be hard to see this with the camera to zoom in on it. What you want is this little pocket right here is where you want your, your filter to be sitting. You don't want it at the, all the way at the back of the tank. You want it somewhere in here. It's the lowest part of the tank. It's a good place for it to be sitting. Okay. I don't know if you can see the shadow or not of it sitting right there. That's why I started long so that I could always pull it back. If you have to pull it further into the tank, you're going to have to pull the grommet out of the tank in order to lengthen the, the inside fuel line. You might be able to push it in, but it's, it's pretty difficult once the grommet is installed into the fuel tank. That's pretty much it. Pretty easy to do. Um, I, the fuel line doesn't cost much, and it'll probably improve your performance quite a bit. Uh, won't starve your engine for fuel. So, this is Fix It signing out. I'll see you in the dunes.